In this video, we are going to learn about Vanstone Thermoval. We will learn about what is Vanstone design, when to use Vanstone design and especially what is the real use behind it. Let us compare a Vanstone design to a normal Thermoval conventional design. What happens here is the Thermoval seems to look similar but if you see flange it has a major difference. The flange is actually seems to be completely detached from the Thermoval when it comes to a Vanstone design. But why was this so important that Shell had to pioneer this design? If you see apparently it seems to make no logic. The Vanstone design seems to be costlier compared to conventional Thermoval when you compare it from apple to apple perspective. But engineers say that this can reduce cost significantly. And not just that it can also help reduce significantly the inventory cost. Let us look as to how can this happen. Let us try to understand how a Vanstone will actually fit in your process. So let us imagine this is your Vanstone Thermoval, this is your backup flange and this is put in the process connection. Now this backup flange, this Thermoval actually gives a very important consideration. If you see here, the backup flange is actually a non-wetted part. You might say how is it so? Let us look in depth. If you see here, here is where the fluid is actually existing. And if you see here, this is your Vanstone Thermoval and this is your gasket. So if you see your backup flange is actually not coming in contact with the process. That can give us some smart engineering practices that could be done. Especially if your Thermoval has to be put in applications where your process service is asking for an exotic material or even for regularly you might have your thermoval as SS material and the backup could be carbon steel. But I have a very important question. A company like Shell has come up with this design just to save a few dollars on the backup flange. I don't think so. The real magic of Vanstone comes especially when it comes to inventory management. How? Let us look into it. In the Vanstone design, it is generally rated for 2500 rating. So what happens is, even if your backup flange is 150 rating, 300 rating application, 600 rating, 900, 1500, 2500 rating, for all of those designs, you can just use this one type of thermoval to fit in for all of these applications. If you compare this to a regular thermoval design, the flange is connected to it. So you need a separate thermoval inventory for 300 rating, 600 rating, 900 rating now imagine in a refinery you have so many different type of ratings with their flange facing example rtj rf etc this is going to cause a huge inventory management and the cost will significantly increase for managing so many thermovals. But when it gets to Vanstone design, things become pretty simple. For all of those applications, one single Vanstone design can easily cater and because of the backup flange, you can easily replace the thermovals as and when required. This is the beauty of a Vanstone Thermoval. However, even Vanstone Thermovals require wake frequency calculations when they are hit with fluid. And that is the reason here's an entire free guide available for you in the video description where you can download and become a champion in wake frequency calculation by understanding all of these concepts. 